It's Abby and you're watching the Bookcast! So this is 24 hour speaking English challenge video and this video is about how I am trying to be more naturally pretty and you can do the same to have a glow up. And whatever glow up means to you, whatever your definition of beautiful, of pretty is, is all about becoming the best version of yourself. And um, you know, attraction is much more skin deep and we want to be beautiful inside, outside, inside out. So before we get to the video, I would like to say thank you so much to Cleo for sponsoring this video, for sending me so many gifts, and I'm so happy that finally I have a chance to collaborate with my favorite friend. So without further ado, let's get started. And as you can see, I'm much prettier when I smile, and so are you. So. Try to smile as much as possible, smile to others, smile with your smiling eyes, smile to yourself because a bright, happy smile is a massive part of glow up transformation. And here is some of my tips how to smile pretty. Put a pencil between your lips in just the right way. The pencil trick works because it forces your face to have a genuine smile, recruiting the muscles of the mouth, cheeks, and eyes that come to life when you're happy. Try this and you will soon see the positive change in your smile. And the second tip is to breathe in before smiling, and when you smile, breathe out. The very first step towards a more charming look is to have good body hygiene. Don't use water that's too hot when you shower as it will damage your skin. I always switch to lukewarm or cool water for the final rinse. This will encourage blood flow and give you a refreshing gem start. And once you're finished, use a moisturizer right away to hydrate your skin. Jisoo from Black Penguins shared that after wearing lipstick for the entire day, she would exfoliate her lips. You can use lip scrub or even a toothbrush to do this and your pockets will look soft and kissable. And after showering and moisturizing, it's perfect time to apply perfume to leave your skin long-lasting, fabulous smell all day long. So this is what I learned from my mom who always has a very nice smell and um, you're gonna find your pulse pulse points like wrist okay and your neck and behind your ears <sighs> i feel pretty now and you can use perfume or you can use mist whatever and coco chanel once said a woman should apply perfume wherever she wants to be kissed Nip zang, nip zang. Taking care of your skin is super important and to be naturally pretty is to have clear, clean and glowy skin. And as you can see, my skin right now has so many acne scars, the brownish ones, the reddish ones all over my face. So I'm switching to use some products that has vitamin C and organic ingredients. Step number one, I use toner pad right after washing my face. And this one I use is Green Tangerine Vita C Toner Pad by Goodall. So basically, I just take out one pad, tap on my face. It's very different from other toners that you use. You have to have a cotton pad and then you put the toner in it. So this one is more simple and convenient. And if you have time, I recommend you do this. This is also a beauty hack from model Irene Kim. You will take two toner pads and you put it here on your cheeks. Leave it here for a moment. Ah, it feels like a mask. It's so refreshing, it's so fresh and moisturizing as well. And as you can see, after I use it, it, has, it still has so many toner and I'm gonna use this for my neck as well. Here is how you can massage your neck. Step number two, I use this one. This is Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot Serum by Goodall. So it is full of vitamin C and green tangerine extract and organic ingredients. So it's super safe for all skin types, especially 
um, you know, acne prone skin and sensitive skin like mine. And you can see its formula right here. It's kind of jelly and very pure. I use it every morning and every night, twice a day. So it could reduce melanin production. Um, it can help with blemishes, dark spot, melasma, and also can moisturize our skin. So pro tip is you can tap, tap, tap it gently on your face so that the product can absorb deeply into your skin. And you just do it like this. For step number three, I'm gonna use this green tangerine Vita C dark spot tone up cream. So for days I'm too lazy to put on makeup, I will use this one as a tone up cream and it has SPF 50 plus as well. So it can protect my skin from the sun. And for days I put on makeup, I will use this one as my makeup base. Here is its formula. So this tone up cream has done a really good job at concealing my flaws, brightening and whitening my skin reducing the size of my pores. I'm content. If you use this one tone-up cream with a serum, the effect would be much better, trust me. To have clear and glowy skin, I think this Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot by Gudo is perfect for you. It has vitamin C, organic ingredients, and super safe for all skin types, so Chang. To have glowy skin, you should use your beauty blender to tap it gently onto your face. Do not scrub like this, oh, oh, oh. just like this. And if you want your eyes look bigger and you want a defined eye, you will fill in the inner upper rim of your eye, like this. And it will look more natural and your eyes will at the same time look bigger. I learned this beauty hack from Pony. And I have been doing it ever since then. I learned to apply blush for my face shape according to this. So you can find yours. All right, so after you curl your lashes, here's how you put on mascara. I learned this from um, my makeup artist. So first step, you're gonna do it like this for all the lashes and for step number two, you're gonna put it like this and you're gonna do it for each lash. Uh-uh. I'm so excited to share this with you. I mean, you can apply this in your makeup routine every day. And I always use my hand to blend the lipstick. A little bit over blend so that my lips could be fuller and done here is my makeup face daily every day <laughs> so it's super important to wear clothes that you feel most comfortable and confident in and to find your style i recommend you track your clothing that you wear the most within two weeks. Is there any particular brand or item or piece that you gravitate towards? And then you will find the inspiration from Instagram, Pinterest, from your idols, from models, from TV shows, movies, and then you identify what your body shape is and boom, you have your style. And I have a paired shaped body so here are some of my outfits that i normally wear that i feel so confident in and i like my style let's go there really is nothing better than pairing those classic black pants with a great white shirt the trick to styling a white shirt with black pants is really about balance if you're doing a white like a pant the top should be a bit more fitted black and white combo still shines and withstands the test of time Try on white or black tee tucked in a beige pleated midi skirt cinched at the waist with a skinny belt. And then you go for a retro look. 
There is no age limit to having a crop top. You should wear what you love as long as it makes you feel comfortable. Mix with your sweatpants and then you have a very nice sporty outfit to go out. You should have a pair of white sneakers as they work perfectly with almost any style. Hmm, how about an off-shoulder top and wide leg pants? I couldn't resist this feminine look. I've always thought that one of the easiest, cute and chic ways to integrate red into your outfit is to wear a red bag. And trust me, this works all the time. It is more difficult to pull up well. You can wear a denim jacket with jeans as long as you can make sure that there is a good amount of contrast between the two pieces. That is, instead of wearing a medium wash jacket with medium wash jeans, you wear a darker jacket with lighter jeans or vice versa. Ladies, it is so important to wash your face before going to bed regardless of whether or not you wear makeup or suffer from acne. This beauty hack is inspired by Kendall Jenner. She cannot go to bed without being fully clean. And remember to moisturize your skin as well. Then you're good to go. Good night. If you want to be pretty, you need to be happy and optimistic. And the key to being happy is to learn something new every single day, no matter what it is. Maybe you learn something at school, maybe you learn how to sing a new song, maybe you learn a new information on the internet, maybe you learn to better listen to others and become a better friend, become a better daughter, whatever it is. It's when you feel like, oh, you are becoming better every single day. And that's when you feel like, oh, I'm pretty. And let me tell you a fact. The fact that a lot of people you think are pretty sometimes don't feel pretty. For instance, some of you might think that I'm pretty, but sometimes I don't feel that at all. I feel so ugly. I really hated myself. I cried. I didn't know what to do. Because you know, beauty includes not only our appearance, but also our mind, our attitude, what we radiate, because beauty includes your whole being. You are more than pretty. You are goddamn beautiful. Keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you can find those tips useful to be naturally pretty, to think pretty, to feel prettier, and to become the better version of yourself. Thank you so much. You are so beautiful, my beauty. Bye.